hello guys and welcome back to another video in uh, when we are dealing with uh, making box plots so I'm going to be using the previous script that we had created in the previous video so as we can see uh, in the previous video we discussed on a variety of methods that we can use on how to create uh, the box plots and we did some simple box plots uh, and also did a uh, violin plot we also discussed on uh, uh, the disadvantages of using a box plot and we saw how violin plot can solve that problem so in this uh, video i want us to we're going to be discussing on a variety of ways that you can uh, order a particular variable well as we saw in the previous that uh, when you're making a box plot uh, the 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 func the 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 functions are going to pick the the arrangement on their own but what if you want to arrange them according to your particular needs so that's what we're going to be seeing in this video so we're going to start by reordering with uh, using uh, using median using the median function so make sure you have uh, loaded uh, your your tidyverse so you're going to use the empty cars first of all let us look at the structure of the empty cars empty cars so that we can see that uh, they're in the right format uh, so in this case we see that uh, the miles per gallon is numeric see the number of cylinders is supposed to be categorical even gears categorical number of carburetors categorical so my, my, our focus is going to be these two the miles per gallon and the number of cylinders so i want to convert uh, these cylinders into into categorical to convert it into categorical so that it does not disturb us in the plotting okay that's fine and then now we can uh, make our our plot we can do uh, we're going to reorder so in this case, uh, let us uh, make our uh, box plot. So empty cars at the pipe operator. So we are going to mutate. Now, when you're doing mutating, you're adding a new column to your existing data frame. Now, in our data frame, uh, we we have uh, these columns, but so since we want to change the order of uh, of this cylinder the number of cylinders that's where we are mutating it office reorder now we're going to reorder the cylinder according to the miles per gallon and then we're going to supply the function the function is going to be medium median i mean it's going to be median so after we have added our new column we're going to plot it, ggplot, then we supply our, so x equals to reorder of the base, we're going to reorder cylinders, and then the y is going to be miles per gallon, and then we're going to fill it with cylinder. And then we're going to do a GM box plot. A GM box plot. Let's see how this looks like. Argument X is missing. I'm missing here. Oh, sorry. It's supposed to just have to reorder this according to miles per gallon. Yeah, that should work. Yeah, so this is our 
if ordered them according to the miles per gallon. Now, if we look at, uh, I think we've noted this some time back. Let us see. It's going to give in the difference. Now, this is the difference. Uh, this is the number of yeah number of things. Now, when you plot it without reordering, as you can see, it is arranging it in this order, four, six, eight. But if we order it according to to our according order it according to the um uh miles per gallon uh, using the function of the, or the median, so it's going to use the median, which is this the median, the highest median, is going to be the farthest end. Now we can customize this further and. Uh, Maybe add our x lab, and then you can say it's going to be the number of uh, number of cylinders, number of cylinders, yeah, so this is how we reorder when you are using the function uh, number of cylinders. You can also order them according to the mean yes, you can also create your own custom function. Uh, what if we want to uh, order them according to the length of the data? You can also do that. Just change that the length. This is going to order them according to the length, the number of observations. That is, this is going to be ordering according to the number. Order according to the number of observation. According to the number of observations. According to the number of of observations. Now you can also uh, now this one is just still uh, ordering on its own uh, using the functions of the mean, the median, uh, any other function that you want. But what if you want to maybe have a specific order according to your according by you defining it on your own? So if you want to order it according to a specific order, we normally have uh, three. Three methods that you're going to look at. Now, the first method you can use the forecasts function. Uh, the second method you can use the dplyr function, and finally the third method you can use the bezr method. So we're going to look at all these methods. So let's start using the forecasts function. The forecasts function. If you want to order something according to your specific demands, let's say for example in this uh, plot that we are seeing here. You want maybe it should start with 8 and then it comes to 4 and then it comes to 6. That's according to your needs. So that's what you're going to be looking at here. So to start with, let's just use the empty cars. And then use the pipe operator. Uh, and then once you've created the pipe operator, you're going to add do a mutex. Of course, you're going to add a new column with the mutex. And then you're going to save factor level now I'm going to factor level cylinder I'm going to factor level cylinder and this is the, the method that I wanted to have so maybe I want it to be four uh, six and maybe eight oh, sorry eight now in this case this is what should be guiding you uh, let me just the table empty cars cylinder now we, we have three factors here we have four six and and eight so i want it to be four six and eight. as you can see it's plotting at eight six four but i want it to be four six eight that is you're doing you're defining your own rules then we plot it let's see how it's going to be look like Then your cylinder, and then your y is going to be miles per gallon, and then you do a geomba. This time, let's just use a geomba, geomba plot, and then you define your starts equals to identity, identity. Now this is for the purpose of demonstration. Now as you can see here, um, it has defined it as four, six, eight. Let's try changing it so that here we have four, and here we have six. 
as you can see it is changing according to what you have defined so this is how you can factor you can relevel your factors um, based on uh, the rules that you have defined yourself now the method to and uh, be before i proceed uh, another thing that i want to add you can see that when we were creating a ggplot here uh, from the beginning of Okay. Uh, when you yeah, there's a diff different method that you can use to plot. As you can see, uh, I've used a method using the pipe operator so that I don't have to define the data function in this ggplot. It's because it's already defined in there at the beginning. So when you define it using this pipe operator, you don't have to name the data set. You just give the name of the of the variables, and it will know because it is flowing all the way from from the beginning. Now another the method number two that you can use is um, you can use the dplyr method. The dplyr method. Now this dplyr method you're going to have to arrange them first and then you're going to reorder them uh, according to your levels. So in this case, this is how you can do it. Define your empty cars. Define your and then you arrange you arrange the the data by by miles per gallon. You're going to arrange the data by miles per gallon, and then you are going to mutate again. This time, we're not going to use the factor. You're going to mutate cylinders. This time, we're going to use just the base factor function. This this FCT factory level factory order they come from the forecasts. Uh, the forecasts library which is the first method now this uh we're going to use the dplyr so factor uh, ceiling number of cylinders and then you define your levels you define your levels so now i want it to be maybe you can start with eight six eight six and uh, maybe four Eight six four, and then you do a ggplot. Then you define your s. So in this case, x is going to still be cylinder, and then uh, y is going to be miles per gallon. Miles per gallon. And then we are going to use a GM segment. You're going to segment them. GM segment. Uh, just to define your eyes. Then the X end. Just give it a cylinder. Then my end is going to be zero. And then you're going to supply your points going to supply your point you can maybe give it a size of four size of four and then you can supply your color you can use a color of maybe blue color of blue and then you're going to do a coordinate flip code flip now let's see how this looks like Now in this case we have arranged it in the form of eight six four. Now we have coordinated flip so that it can be uh, horizontal. So that it can be horizontal. We can maybe let's try to copy this and then um, we can copy that and then we try and uh, let us remove uh, this coordinate flip. See how it's going to look like. Yeah, so that's how you can do your custom arrangement from here. 864. You can also change it. You can maybe say let's see this be 8 and this one be 4. Yeah, so that is how you can define your factors based on uh, your that exactly how you you want to end them to be. So uh, the next uh, method is going to be the base R method. You can also use base R to to um, 
define so let us define our let us uh, define our let us reorder our uh, we're going to reorder the the categorical uh, variable which is the number of cylinders you can use the with the uh, empty cars as our data set we're going to reorder we're going to reorder cylinder according to miles per gallon and we're going to use this let's give it a function of median let's run that then we can start our empty cars use the pipe operator use the pipe operator and then you're going to do ggplot supply our, our coordinates and then our x is going to be cylinders our y is going to be mpg and then i also want to fill it with the with cylinder fill it with the cylinder and then we can supply our geom let's use a violin plot geom violin and then we can also supply okay let's run this and see how it looks like so that you can know what exactly you want to add now this is our is used base base r to um measure them to ar ar arrange them according to the median function so it is as simple as as that so we can also maybe say our x lab we can define our x lab it's lab to be maybe number of cylinders number of cylinders number of cylinders and now we have uh, successfully uh, created the number of cylinders so uh the next thing maybe we can do is uh as you can see these box plots and violin, violin plots uh, are only going to show us the the minimum value the maximum value and the median and the median value of course with the q1 and the q2 and the, the q3 but we, are, we don't really know where the mean is located and which is also a disadvantage that you can if you, you can say because you cannot locate the mean in a in a particular group like in this part you don't know where the mean is but we can also highlight uh, the mean uh we can highlight the mean in our plot we can highlight the mean in our plot we can highlight the mean in our plot so i guess that's what we are going to do in the in the next video so for now guys um if you're new leave a like comment share and subscribe to my channel and don't remember to turn on the the bell notification so thank you guys and see you in the next video